In, in other parts of our tour, we've talked about the very, very large chips that are used uh, in the correlator and many other applications uh, of a modern instrument like this. Rarer than the old-fashioned chips with little feet and prongs on them, they have now hundreds, in some cases thousands, of little bowl connectors on their underside. These things have to be connected to the boards with very sophisticated methods, and Keith is going to tell us a little more about that. Okay, so what we have here is this is a ball grid array or BGA soldering machine. In, in, in the case with, with a chip with that many pins on it, there's going to be a, a circuit board that's very thick with a, high, a large number of layers. Um, because those co connections are so densely placed, they need to be routed in three dimensions through the board. Um, that board will diffuse a lot of heat. A normal soldering iron can't even, isn't even up to the task. So th these machines have a, a positionable arm with a suction cup on them that'll, that'll grab the device, the microchip, position it on the board, and then heating elements that'll heat the board simultaneously, heat the region around the chip simultaneously from above and below in order to penetrate the, the large thermal mass that the board presents to it. You can't actually tell from above by any visual means whether or not the solder has actually connected the bowl to the, to the, uh, to the right. boards. Right, so how would you know? if all 1,700 solder connections got made. Yeah, so what do you do? We'd have to x-ray it. Because here's a circuit board with devices already installed on it. Drops that generator. <clears throat> so we'll have an image appear on the screen. We can also take the thermal prints of the image on the screen. And so I can, I can move the, the platform around. We can zoom in and out. And what are the little circles here telling okay. us? So the little circles are actually holes through the board. Um, metal is going to show up as black, and anything non-metal is going to show up as white. What we can mm -hmm. see here, though, is, is these diagonal, all these other lines, the cluster of lines coming radially in, yeah. are, are interior to that chip. Okay. And we can see the die of the chip here. So these are, these are minuscule wires that make connection from the wafer yes. die to, yes. the, to the external connections. Right, right, and okay. They're not and very the, big external connections. And the active elements. Uh, I see all these lines, they seem uh -huh. to terminate. Uh, That's right. So on. this is the silicon wafer section. Okay. Okay. That's so what there's got no the, metal there's there. There's further, yeah, and then that's etched to form the circuit. Yeah. Mm -hmm.